With batteries so dense, they can power automobiles for more than a thousand kilometers on a single charge. Imagine a future where electric vehicles, EVs, completely reinvent mobility. This represents a significant advancement in vehicle technology, not science fiction. Longer ranges, quicker charging times, and increased durability are all promised by ultra-dense battery technology. From long-distance travel to urban streets, these developments have the potential to completely change the way we view electric vehicles. Come explore the reasons behind the future of electric vehicles with this ultra-dense battery technology. Prepare to learn about the power that propels the transportation of tomorrow. With an energy density of 500 watt-hours per kilogram, the innovative new battery from Chinese battery manufacturer CATL may enable electric cars to use much lighter batteries and have longer driving times. This is a significant advancement in battery technology. According to numerous reports, the Tesla Model 3's Panasonic 2170 batteries have an energy density of roughly 260 watt-hours per kilogram, which is over half that of the brand new CATL batteries. This latest advancement is just one kind of ultra-dense battery technology. Is ultra-dense battery technology, particularly for Tesla, the way forward for the electric vehicle industry? In what way do these batteries affect us? When will they largely replace the current EV batteries and how do they perform better than them? These are some of the questions we'll look into in today's video. What makes ultra-dense battery technology revolutionary for electric vehicles? Fundamentally, ultra-dense battery technology describes a class of batteries with a very high energy density. When we talk about energy density, we're talking about how much energy a battery can hold in relation to its size or weight. This is commonly expressed in watt-hours per kilogram or watt-hours per liter. High-energy density batteries are attractive because they can provide electric vehicles like Teslas with better performance and longer operating range. Technological developments in ultra-dense batteries currently pursue energy densities greater than 300 watt-hours per kilogram. To put this in perspective, the energy density of the batteries that Tesla currently uses, such as those in their Model Y, is about 269 watt-hours per kilogram. Electric vehicles could experience a 15 to 20 percent boost in range if the energy density is raised to 300 watt-hours per kilogram or more, greatly improving their usability and convenience. Examining more closely reveals a few significant figures who have the potential to change the high-density battery market in the immediate and long term. Enhancements to lithium-ion batteries, such as the replacement of conventional graphite with silicon anodes, can greatly boost energy density. One possible way to increase energy densities to approximately 400 watt-hours per kilogram is by using silicone anodes, which have the capacity to store up to 10 times more lithium ions than graphite. Tesla is one of the companies experimenting with this technology to increase the vehicle's range. Improved safety features consist of decreased overheating danger and improved thermal management. Solid-state energy sources, as opposed to liquid ones, have a higher energy density and improved safety because there's a decreased chance of leakage and combustion. Energy densities of about 500 watt-hours per kilogram are their target. By the middle of the 2020s, Solid-state batteries will be used in Toyota EVs, offering greater range and faster charging times. These batteries also have a lower chance of catching fire and are more stable in extremely cold temperatures. Theoretically, the energy density of lithium-air batteries can reach 1,200 watt-hours per kilogram, which is almost the same as the energy density of gasoline. They considerably lessen battery weight by using atmospheric oxygen. IBM is a prominent player in the development of lithium-air batteries, which have the potential to store 10 times as much energy as current lithium-ion batteries. Though they could find use in electric vehicles that can go more than 1,000 kilometers between charges, they're still just in the research stage. Other difficulties they encounter include controlling lithium's reactivity and making sure there's a steady supply of oxygen. By utilizing graphene's special qualities, batteries made of graphene may be able to increase charging speeds and energy density. They can charge five times faster than traditional lithium-ion batteries and are expected to deliver up to 1,000 watt-hours per kilogram. Among the businesses investigating graphene batteries for use in EVs and smartphones is Samsung, with the goal of achieving longer lifespans and faster recharge times. Although sodium-ion batteries have a lower energy density than lithium-ion batteries, between 150 and 200 watt-hours per kilogram, they are still an affordable and environmentally friendly option. 
Because sodium is abundant and has a lesser environmental impact, companies like CATL are developing these batteries for grid storage and affordable electric vehicles. Many other battery types, including thermal energy batteries, lithium sulfur batteries, lithium metal batteries, metal air batteries, sodium metal batteries, and lithium silicon batteries have also been recognized as possible future ultra-dense batteries. Examining the core elements underlying these astounding breakthroughs is crucial as we continue to explore the field of ultra-dense battery technology. Of these, the silicon anode stands out as a key component that presents both significant obstacles and unmatched potential. The attraction of silicon comes from its extraordinary ability to store lithium. It can store 4,200 milliamp hours per gram, whereas typical graphite can only store 372 milliamp hours per gram. This implies the possibility of energy storage capacity from the current lithium ion batteries by up to four times. The weakness of silicon, however, is its volumetric expansion upon absorbing lithium. It can inflate by as much as 300% and over time, cause structural damage. Innovative approaches to overcoming these obstacles, like silicon carbon composites and nanostructured silicon particles, show promise for improving longevity and performance. With its unparalleled mechanical strength and electrical conductivity, graphene also proves to be a game changer in the field of battery technology. Graphene has enormous promise because of its tensile strength, which is comparable to stainless steel, and its conductivity, which is much higher than that of other materials. Applications include everything from protecting silicone anodes to enhancing battery performance as a whole. However, there are still issues, especially with cost-effectiveness and production scaling. Continued research efforts should soon reveal graphene's full potential and advance battery technology to previously unexplored heights. Solid-state technology, which uses solid electrolytes to improve safety and energy density, also represents a paradigm shift in battery design. By avoiding liquid electrolytes that catch fire, solid-state batteries offer improved energy storage capacities and higher voltage operations, all while reducing the risk of combustion. However, issues like ion conductivity and the engineering of the electrode-electrite interface still exist. Novel solid electrolyte material development and sophisticated interface engineering methods are two examples of innovative strategies that provide hope for addressing these obstacles. In conclusion, ultra-dense batteries operate better in high temperatures and have greater range, quicker charging times, longer lifespan, increased safety, and less environmental effect. What about ultra-dense batteries most fascinates you, and have you ever had problems with your present batteries in inclement weather? Do you think that future Tesla models will employ these ultra-dense batteries? Or are you happy with the state of battery technology as it stands now? Let us know down in the comments. We appreciate you watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.